Okay, Coast Guard Boot Camp. Four tips to make Coast Guard Boot Camp easier for you. Okay, I'm gonna start off with tip number one, and that is required knowledge. Required knowledge is so important in boot camp, and uh, I don't think it's really emphasized by recruiters. Um, I think that's something that needs to change. Either, I had a great recruiter. Uh, either my recruiter didn't know, or or he did, but didn't know the the amount of required knowledge that I was supposed to know, or that that's expected of recruits uh, before they go to boot camp or during boot camp. Mm. Every day when you go for chow, breakfast chow, lunch chow, dinner chow, you once you're done eating, you're gonna be a, you're gonna get up from your table um, and you're gonna go put your utensils away, your forks, knives, your plates, all that all that stuff. On your way there, your company commander is gonna be there uh, in the way and they're going to throw out required knowledge questions at you for that week. If you don't know your required knowledge, you're gonna have a tough time in boot camp. And I'm just telling you that right now, keeping 100% real, if you don't know your required knowledge, the odds of you making it without any disciplinary action and graduating are very slim. You, odds are if you don't need to require knowledge before or during boot camp, you don't study, you're going to get reverted. And reversion means you're gonna go back a week in a different company and no one wants to stay in Coast Guard boot camp you know, longer than you have to. So I really wanna emphasize that required knowledge is extremely important and I recommend before you go, I know there's before I went to boot camp, I looked up um, some required knowledge, found some on the internet, Googled it. Uh, so I recommend that you Google um, required knowledge for Coast Guard boot camp, required knowledge 2016 or whatever year you're watching this video. Um, you know, and I think there's a video already on YouTube. I, I can't remember who, who made the video or anything, but I'm gonna try and find them probably provide a link or something and he does a really good job of explaining the required knowledge and uh, stuff that you need to know for, for boot camp to prepare you. Tip number two. Tip number two is learning how to talk. Uh, when you go to Coast Guard boot camp, they're going to implement a, a way of talking. Your company commanders will immediately. I did not know this at all. All right. Uh, with required knowledge, at least I, you know, I had an idea. Okay, you need to know required knowledge. Your 11 general orders, blah blah. But with knowing how to talk, that was an absolute surprise, an unpleasant surprise for me. That in boot camp, Coast Guard boot camp, you're gonna have to, like I said talk in a certain way, reply in a certain way, answer questions in a certain way, ask questions in a certain way. What I mean by that is, let's say you're asking a question, you're going to state your company commander's rank, followed by his last name, followed by your rank, and everyone's rank in bootcamp is seaman recruit, so your rank, seaman recruit, followed by your last name, Followed by the question, followed by I request to know, followed by the question. All right, now for example, you're going to say, uh, let's say I wanted to ask a question about, about making my rack. I would say, Petty Officer Smith, Seaman Recruit Miller, I request to know, how do I make my rack? I know insane and you're gonna have to yell that out and not stutter not hesitate you're gonna have to say it like it's second nature 
you know, and it's going to take some practice. And knowing this, after watching this video, hopefully you do practice. Now, this goes hand in hand with tip number one, knowing your required knowledge. Because, let's say you're coming to Commander, you're at, in the galley, and you get up to put your, your stuff away, uh, your, your utensils and stuff. He's going to ask you a question. Hey, um, for example, Mela, what's your first general order? I would reply, Petty Officer Smith, Seaman Crew Mela, my first general order is followed by the answer. If I get the, it doesn't matter if you get the answer correctly. If you do not, if you do not speak in the correct manner, the whole entire answer is wrong. And uh, for the longest time in boot camp, I had a tough time with this, uh, talking correctly. Uh, even if I knew the answer to a question, I refused to raise my hand because I would hesitate, I would stutter, and therefore bring attention to myself, which I did not want. So that moves, that moves on to tip number three. Tip number three, is uh what is tip number three tip number three is military bearing maintaining your military bearing at all times during coast guard boot camp and um that's just that they, they implement that to just another stressor just to show discipline to show you discipline and what military bearing means is in boot camp, you are not allowed to joke around, you're not allowed to smile, you're not allowed to talk unless spoken to, uh, not allowed to horse around, uh, or anything like that. If you, at all times, you're supposed to be sitting at a position of attention, no sleeping during classes, that's so important, no matter how tired you are, don't do it. You are going to face disciplinary action if caught. Um, believe it or not, military bearing can be difficult at certain situations, especially if your uh, company commander says something extremely funny. You are required to hold a straight face um, at all times. I personally have gotten in trouble over losing military bearing by talking with my hands, not sitting at the position of attention, and thinking I was safe because my company commanders were not around. Um, I'll definitely get more into detail on this story, uh, but what ended up happening is I got caught by another company commander and uh, I got probation. And probation is they give you a red belt like I said, I'll explain this story in another video, but basically it sucked. I had disciplinary action against me, um, and it just was not fun at all. So always maintain your military bearing during Coast Guard boot camp. This leads me to tip number four. Tip number four in Coast Guard boot camp to make Coast Guard boot camp easier for you is to always remember to never give up. As cliche as that sounds, it's extremely important. Um, in my company, the original people that started out on day one, there were about 100 people. The amount of people that quit were, I think were 48. And what my company commanders would do is that they had a board um, in the main hallway that we all would gather around in the barracks. And in that main hallway, like I said, there was a board and they, for each person that would quit or get reverted, um, there would be an X on the board. It was really intimidating to see that every single day that the X's would increase. And like I said, by the end of it, we had about 40, I believe it was 48 people that either got quit or were reverted back a week, two weeks, three weeks. 
Um, I luckily never got reverted and uh, extremely happy that I didn't. And that's why this tip is extremely, just as important as all the, all these tips are important, but this tip, you know, there, there are times where you feel like quitting, you feel like it, you know, it just gets worse and worse. Your morale is really low. You miss your family, your friends. You question everything. You question if you made the right decision to join the Coast Guard, to join the military. On that first day, um, it's a huge awakening, uh, wake-up call. And um, just know that the, one of the happiest days of my life was graduation. Uh, seeing my family and friends, being in uniform, looking good, clean cut. And when they finally dismissed us on the parade field at Cape May, New Jersey, man, tears were flowing, big hugs, my parents, um, my wife, my sister, family, like I said, family, friends, it was, just a beautiful feeling and uh, I don't regret anything anything about my decision to join and um, because of the Coast Guard I'm now stationed in Miami Florida never been never been here in my whole entire life it's beautiful it's December 25th today Christmas Day and I'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts. I'm from Virginia, it's, it, it's freezing over there, um, especially in the winter. And I'm in a t-shirt and shorts. I'm in paradise right now, you know? And uh, new experiences every day, meeting new people. I'm grateful. I'm grateful, I, I'm extremely grateful. So, guys, I hope this, these tips, I hope you guys follow these tips and you found these tips to be extremely helpful. And, um, and yeah, I'm going to continue vlogging. So, like I said, vlog number one, let's just see where this takes me, see where, um, where I can go with this. Thanks for watching.